What's going on, YouTubers? This is Buddy coming at you another quick video. Today, I want to talk about water chemistry. Okay, um, I want to talk about the role of magnesium in salt water. Now, I feel like people put a lot of emphasis in calcium and alkalinity, and they tend to not put as much emphasis in the important role of magnesium. So, we're going to talk about magnesium here today. Okay, so I wrote this down just because it's easier for me to stay on topic. So I wrote it all down, and now I'm going to read what I wrote to you. It just makes it easier for me. I want to talk about the, I want to talk about water chemistry today, and the role of magnesium. Magnesium exists in salt water as an ion, Mg2+. Magnesium carries two positive charges. It's the presence of magnesium that allows us to maintain high levels of calcium and alkalinity. Now, people refer to the associated drop in alkalinity when calcium is dosed to the system. Magnesium has buffering capabilities and it makes calcium and alkalinity less attracted to each other. Magnesium's, magnesium allows you to not have that associated drop in alkalinity when calcium is dosed to the system. Our corals utilize calcium and magnesium in very similar ways. So it's just as important to put just as much emphasis in magnesium as calcium and alkalinity. Magnesium is, the th is three times more abundant than calcium in salt water. Magnesium is the third most abundant ion in salt water. So why do we not put as much emphasis in magnesium as we do as calcium and alkalinity? Now people refer to that associated drop when they dose calcium to the system. They refer to that associated drop in alkalinity. That's due to the fact that you have inadequate magnesium levels. If you have adequate magnesium levels, you should not have that associated drop in alkalinity. Like I said, magnesium provides buffering capabilities. It makes it, basically it gets between the two ions, calcium and alkalinity, and it makes it so they do not stick to each other and precipitate out of the water. Now this is very important that in water chemistry that you understand the important role of magnesium. Now I didn't want to get real scientific on you and, and, and you know throw a bunch of scientific terms out there mainly because I don't feel like that, that is beneficial to you to know scientific terms. Knowing the role and how it works and, and how it plays a role in water chemistry is the only thing that's important. Scientific terms are not important in my opinion. So I wanted to make this video and, and talk about magnesium and just gives a few things about magnesium and, and, and what it does in the water and things like that. So I wanted to make people aware that it's the third most abundant ion in salt water. So being the third, and, it, and it's three times more abundant than calcium, and technically it's much more than that. So why do we not test for magnesium more? Now I know myself for many years did not test for magnesium like that at all. And I would find myself having those associated drops in alkalinity when calcium was dosed to the system. That's why it's very important to be checking, uh, testing for magnesium just as much as it is calcium and alkalinity. I want people to put more emphasis in magnesium, or just as much in magnesium as they do calcium and alkalinity. Those three ions are very important in water chemistry. Alright guys, this is Buddy coming at you another quick video. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you find it beneficial to you and helpful. All right, guys, this is Buddy signing out. Happy reefing.